Two Delta County communities share a common trait, their waterfronts. It's helped define what Escanaba and Gladstone are today. For Escanaba, this year is their sesquicentennial celebration. Tonight, in the first of five reports, we look at why Escanaba and Gladstone are someplace special by starting in the past. This is a big year for Escanaba in terms of its history. We're celebrating our 150th birthday. Escanaba began as a port town in the mid-19th century, as a shipping point for iron ore, lumber, and copper during the Civil War. It's kind of neat. Uh, from the beginning, uh, you had ore boats coming in and out, and you still do. Escanaba and Gladstone have been key water links for shippers, with access to major markets in the south, like Chicago and beyond. You're talking about railroads. The Sioux Line railroad system played a major part in Gladstone's history. People were looking at the area as the future Chicago of the North. The railroads were so responsible for so much happening. Of course, they were following after the, uh, the minerals and, and the forest products that were in the UP. Gladstone's rich economic history has been tied to transportation with vast natural resources nearby. Lumbering was really big. One of the early companies was the Northwest Cooperage and Lumber Company, and they manufactured ba uh, barrels and uh, hardwood flooring. While the railroads in Gladstone have shrunk and the Escanaba port is seeing fewer ships, they're still an economic force. Uh, they're a constant reminder of what this town was all about and still is all about to some extent. History is worth preserving. And thanks to generous donations, the Delta County Historical Society is now building a new museum next to the Sandpoint Lighthouse. It's another sign how important the past is for future generations. In Escanaba and Gladstone, Abby Miller, TV6 News.